I'm Hirofumi Nakasone, leader of the delegation of Japan. First, I'd like to express our sincere condolences to all the victims and their families and extend our heartfelt sympathies to the injured by a shooting incident that occurred in Paris on the morning of January 7. I cannot help but be immensely shocked and out outraged to hear that incident. A vicious terrorism such as this cannot be tolerated for any reason, and on behalf of the government of Japan and its nationals, I resolutely condemn it. Now I would like to express my sincere gratitude to Ms. Gabriela Ribadineira Brubano, uh, President of the National Assembly of Ecuador, and all the other members of the National Assembly of Ecuador for hosting this annual meeting, and to offer my congratulations to Ecuador for hosting an APPF annual meeting for the first time. Allow me to also to convey the best wishes for the success of this meeting of my father, Yasuhiro Nakasone, founder and current honorary president of the APPF. The first annual meeting of the APPF that I attended was the 10th held in Honolulu in 2002, and following on from last year's meeting in Puerto Pajarta, this is my 10th meeting. As foreign minister of Japan from 2008, I was engaged in security issues including those of the Middle East. Our delegation of Japan has presented a draft resolution on the Mi Middle East peace process at this annual meeting. And today, I would like to describe Japanese initiatives for peace in the Middle East. The Middle East region is vital to the stability of Asia Pacific and the world economy as a major source of crude oil. But at the same time, there are a number of issues destabilizing the region, such as the Palestinian conflict, the Syrian civil war, the Iran nuclear issue, and others. Recently, the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, or ISIL, has grown in strength and now poses a grave threat, not only to the Middle East, but also to the international community as a whole. It is important that the international community acts in unison by responding rapidly to the humanitarian crisis and preventing extremism from taking root, and Japan's contribution to this was to announce a further $25.5 million in emergency aid at the UN General Assembly last September. The Middle East peace issue has also been a matter of serious concern for many years. Creating a roadmap to peace is made difficult by circumstances such as the armed conflict that flared up again last August between Israel and Hamas, causing more than 2,000 deaths of residents of the Palestinian autonomous region of Gaza to bring about a peaceful two-state solution in which Israel and Palestine coexist without violence, the coherent support of the international community is absolutely crucial. Japan, from its stance of supporting a two-state solution, approved the resolution at the 2012 UN General Assembly to grant Palestine status as a non-member observer state, we will continue to make a proactive contribution toward peace in the Middle East uh, built on three pillars. These are a political approach to move the peace process along, assistance for Palestinians in future nation building, and confidence building measures between the two uh, sides. In this increasingly globalized world, the Middle East peace issue is by no means someone else's problem for the Asia Pacific region. Mediation efforts have been made, particularly by the Quartet of Russia, the US, the, the EC, EU, and the UN to try to move peace talks forward. But I believe it is also important that 
APPF member countries convey our message of strong support for peace in the Middle East. Based on this understanding, the delegation of Japan has submitted our draft resolution on the Middle East peace process. And I kindly ask all of you in the APPF member parliament for your approval. Thank you very much for your attention.